Hey neighbors, I've made some videos about grow tents before. There seemed to be the same question being asked over and over and over again in those videos. And that question is, well, what about gorilla grow tents? <laughs> and to be honest, I didn't really know a whole lot about them. So I decided, hey, why don't we just get one to see what all the hype's about? I've got the grow tent right there and I'm actually gonna build it outside today. I don't really have a place in the house right now. Studio's not completely done and I don't have anywhere that the sound is gonna be good. I've got a tarp down because it's been raining, so hopefully it doesn't start again. So let's go ahead and bust this bad boy open and see what's inside. We have a carrying case for the canvas, the canvas itself, frame pieces, instructions, the floor tray, some straps, coupons for some nutrients. Looks like we're set. Let's build this thing. Have you ever been building something and in your head you're like, I know how to do this, I don't need the instructions. <laughs> and then you constantly find yourself looking at the instructions because you're wrong at every single turn. That was me just now. So I, I've put up quite a few grow tents in my life and this one is put together completely differently. I'll say that it's not a bad thing, it's just a different thing. And now that I know how to do this, I could do this much faster than I could do my, you know, Viv Vivosun 4x2. This is a 3x3. Three three. It took me roughly 30 minutes to put this thing together. If I would have done this before, I probably could have done that in 10 minutes or less. It's really easy to put together. Everything just kind of wraps around, zips together, and it's really easy and user-friendly. I will say I ran into one issue where one of the little buttons in the poles had been pushed in and dropped down the pole a little bit, and I wasn't able to get it. I was <laughs> shoving sticks down there and whatever I could to get it out. I'm not gonna put that on the fault of the company. That could have easily happened in shipping or something like that. I guarantee if I would have sent it back and been like, hey, I need you to replace this pole, guarantee they would have. So. That's the only issue I had at all putting it together aside from just not reading the instructions. Much, much better. I know my four by eight Vivosun, as much as I love that thing, it was a nightmare to put up and I'm getting ready to take it down here in a little while and I'm not looking forward to that at all. <laughs> So this one, I could put it together and take it down in five, 10 minutes. Now that we have this thing put together, let's talk about what might set this apart from any other grow tent brand. Now, first off, you get the adjustable height and that's not something you get in any other grow tent that I've seen. I haven't bought a grow tent in a while, correct me if I'm wrong. These are the only people that I know that, that have the adjustable height and especially as adjustable as they are. And let me tell you, I don't know exactly how tall this thing is. I'm 5'9", this thing is pretty tall. I did not put the extension in it because I wanna get this inside and see how it looks. And I wanna do a separate video on the extensions that these have because I have the one foot and the two foot extension. I could go three feet taller than it is right now, which is just bonkers. I don't know of any other grow tents that, what, what does that put it, 10 feet? <laughs> Something like that, 10 feet? That, that's a big tent. It is a steel frame and they claim that their poles are two to five times thicker than the competition. I do see a little bit of a difference between this and my two grow tents. Not a huge difference, but I do see a difference. They do seem like they are stronger and here in a minute, I'm gonna test that out. And I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna, give me just, Give me just a second. Forgot to put the load bearing poles up. <laughs> okay, I got the load bearing poles up. And let me tell you, just barely is when I realized the difference between Gorilla Grow Tents and other Grow Tents. When I put those support beams in, the entire structure of that whole tent just changed. It is rock solid, no movement whatsoever. I honestly had to force those poles in. It, it is tight in there. But now we gotta check how much weight it can hold. I'm not 300 pounds, I'm 200 pounds. I'm gonna hang from that and see, let, let's see how safe I feel. You can't see my feet. I need to lift my feet up so you can see them. <gasps> I'm not gonna pretend like I can do pull-ups. <laughs> okay, that, that. I think it's safe to say that it's pretty strong. I'm just treating it like a jungle gym in there. You gotta test it out. I've seen the pictures, you've seen the pictures. People that own this company are hanging from there. There's three guys in there hanging from it. You have to. The fabric that is around this grow tent is 1680D, 1680D. My other grow tents are 600D. So quite a big difference in the thickness of the, I'm gonna call it the canvas. I think I've been calling that it that all day. That fabric is, is pretty serious. It's for the serious grower, that's for sure. It has a diamond reflective interior, and honestly, that those words didn't mean anything to me until I saw it. It's got little, little diamonds in there that are shooting the little reflective things all over the place. The reflectiveness, I'm gonna call it the reflectiveness of this tent, pretty serious. I mean, to me, it looks like it's gonna be really reflective. <laughs> <laughs> they have the industrial strength zippers. 100% those, those zippers are, are, they're not playing around. <laughs> those are probably the most heavy duty zippers I have on anything that I own. <laughs> they're, they're, good, they're good zippers. And they claim that it's light proof. 
Obviously I can't test that right now while we're outside, but I'm gonna add some B-roll right here. And this is gonna show you if it is or is not light proof. Based off of what I'm seeing on this tent, I'm gonna guess that it is completely light proof. There's at every little zipper, at every little opening, there's flaps that are covering it, double like double layer coverage. So I don't imagine any lights gonna be getting through here. They claim that these are the tallest, thickest, and strongest grow tents on the market. But what are my thoughts? I'm honestly impressed. I'm, I'm, I'm really, really impressed. This is by far the most serious grow tent that I've ever had. The materials they are made out of, you can tell they're quality materials. And this right here, the height that this is right here, I can go three feet taller than this. I'm gonna do a whole separate video on that. So yes, they are by far the tallest as far as I know. And they're definitely tough. I was just jungle gymming off of the roof of that held up like a champ. But I do wanna add this. If you are just kind of a, a hobby grower, you're not really serious about it. You don't know if you're gonna be into it for six months or six years years you're just kind of you're just kind of dabbling if you're not completely serious about growing in a grow tent maybe check out some of the cheaper options the gorilla themselves they they do make a light line which is quite a bit cheaper you don't get the really really thick material but you're still getting the gorilla overall quality you're still getting the gorilla logo you're still getting the gorilla brand and they take pride in what they make go check out their website they've got so much cool stuff on their website they've got all shapes sizes and prices of grow tents they have grow lights nutrients filters they have trellises they have so many different things you can use while growing in a grow tent if you go down into the description below there's going to be a link to their website and then there's also going to be a discount code the discount code is white pepper and that will give you 10 percent off of anything that you buy on the website definitely go check them out i think what i'm going to end up doing is doing a hydroponic project in there with a i'm going to do one single pepper plant and grow it as giant as i possibly can if you got value out of this video go down hit the like button subscribe to our channel it really does help us out a lot and i appreciate it and if for any reason you just aren't quite sold on gorilla grow tents go check out this video right here where i talk about the top five grow tents on amazon i have two of them in my house right now i love them they're great not quite as good as gorilla <laughs> but they're great go check out that video and i'll see you over there